seven stolen bases for Esteuri Ruiz, the new American League rookie record. And that's 50 for Corbin Carroll. The most thrilling man in baseball stole second, third, and home. 30. 30 in his age 22 season. This is not hype. This is actually happening. A 40 70 season and a season unlike any other for Ronald Acuna Jr. All right, larger bases, disengagement rule put into place, so stolen bases went up. It was a nice tweak, it worked beautifully. You see the total stolen bases going up from 20, um, just under 2,500 to 3,500 last year. Attempts going up and the percentage, the success rate going up to an all-time high of 80.2%. Jim Tomey, Cam Mabin are in Studio 42. Cam, I said, I've said this before. If I'm managing, and I have no interest in managing, but if I'm managing and you're on first base and you don't draw a throw, I'm fining you. It might be a $5 <laughs> fine, kangaroo court. But how are you? I mean, you, get, you stole 40 bases in a single season. Imagine getting the disengagement rule where the pitcher is only allowed two throws. Wouldn't you be daring, guys? Show us how you would be leading off to mess with a pitcher and draw that throw. Well, I want to talk about the, the base running aspect of it a little bit. And, and, and you're absolutely right, BK. Now with this new, this new clock, the, the cat and mouse game that you can have between the pitchers, the catchers, and really the clock understanding the, 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 the nature of a guy really trying to get into a rhythm. A lot of these guys are, you know, 13-second guys, 8-second guys. But me and Tom, you know, we talked about some things that are really important to the youth out there. And we want to go over some cardinal rules. And, and I really appreciate it. A guy who's known for his bat, known for his power, really investing on the base ring aspect and how much that brings a team together yes. and how that wins you those close ball games that really helps you get to where you want to go and that's the playoffs in the World Series. I just want you to touch on that for well, a second. Well, for, for me, you know, in those Indian days in the mid-90s, look, when you got on base, you were going to score. <laughs> we were either going to hit home runs, we were going to hit the ball in the gap. To me, my whole career, you know, I wasn't a base stealer, so I took a lot of pride over there yes. getting a good lead. I was always thinking get back to the base because I wasn't going to steal. And at second base, I wanted to get a big enough lead that that I had pride and passion to score for Albert Bell, for Manny, Absolutely. for you know when the whole our whole lineup, we took pride in scoring. And runs. they expect me to score, but when a guy like you, a guy that's used to driving runs in, when you score, what that does to the team's morale and energy does goes a home. A, a long way, but I want to talk about, we want to talk about how important second base was, and we want to go over a few of the, the cardinal rules, right? And we're going to start out with the no out lead. When you get that lead with no out, the priority is to take your lead in the baseline with the thought of advancing the third base. What we're trying to do with no outs, we're trying to take our secondary in that baseline and advance the third and get over there with less than two outs because we want the big fell up with opportunities to drive in ribbies, right? So that's the first one. The second one, the two-out lead for me, the two-out lead slightly outside the baseline, a little bit back. And what you're doing is you're thinking, I'm scoring on any base hit I have to score. But what I see at the younger levels, a lot of problem is when guys take that secondary lead, they get deeper on their secondary lead when essentially when you get out here with two outs, your angle's already set, so you don't have to take a deeper secondary lead. So that's what I want to see two outs. But here's the one that I did because I was somewhat of a base dealer. It's the one-out lead. And the one-out lead, it's really depending on that runner. What do you like to do? So one thing that I wanted to do, I never wanted to give it away because as you get higher up in levels, these middle infielders get a lot smarter. They get a lot more aware. But what you want to do is you're going to fill those guys out, and you want to be slightly off the back of the baseline. But what I would do is always keep my, keep my feet moving, keep my feet active, and I would kind to walk in every time as if I was going to steal, but I never wanted to give my look away. And you said it, almost like a tennis player moving his feet, getting ready for that ball, getting ready for that serve, and then you get into it, and then you can go to third base. So those are the, the three uh, cardinal rules as far as no out leads, two out leads, one out leads. And then the last thing, balls to the outfield, I think is huge. No outs, what we want to do, we want to go back and tag up, right? Because we're, again, we're looking to advance. When you get that in-between ball, and I saw a play last year that comes to my mind, it was Cody Bellinger in Houston. And there was a play with one out 
what you want to do, one out, that in-between hop, you want to be halfway because Jim knows if that ball falls, you're going to score anyway. There's no reason, no way that you can actually get back to that bag, tag up a one out. So understanding the cardinal rules as young base runners, it will take you so far in the game. I know we focus on hitting so much. We focus on our swing so much and defense as well. But base running, it keeps you around. It keeps your teams in the game, and it gets you to where you want to go. I think it's a huge part of the game, and I'm glad you cared about it more than it people might have thought. It is, and it was fun to watch, guys, that even at the younger level, our sons were in the yeah. youth baseball circuit, high school. To me, when a kid wants to score oh. and he wants to run the bases, it stands out. Everybody knows it in the ballpark. And I think it's contagious, like you said, with our team and the, with Cleveland. BK, I think I can get you some bags. What do you think? That's it. Look, you can measure desire, right, by what the guy does on the bases. We're, we're talking about Chase Utley. Chase Utley was devastating on the bases. So that, that, that counts an awful lot. And come on, man, you'd have 60, right, with the new rules? Hey, right yeah. now, BK, I'm going to go 45. I go 45. 45? You know, I, I didn't run just to get bags. I ran when the situation called for it. I was more of a team guy. Now, I, I wish I'd have been a little bit more selfish looking back on it, but that's just the way I play. I want you more selfish. I'd be finding, I, I, I'd be finding I need you, left you to and right. be my agent, BK. If you're my agent, I would have run left and right all over. <laughs> Over the place. Kangaroo court left and right. <laughs>